300 advanced troops, AARP volunteers, met in Trenton to hear from politicians who crave continued support from the organization's 1.3 million New Jersey members aged 50 and over, a formidable voting bloc. Governor Murphy told these folks, most of them on fixed incomes, his budget proposal offers relief from Jersey's infamously high property taxes. Well, we need to fully fund our public schools to not yet to not just support our kids and our terrific educators, but to also put downward pressure on property taxes. Right? A big crowd pleaser. As for the homestead rebate, which got slashed in half last year. We're gonna put a significant amount of money back into the homestead rebate program, yes. right? Except Murphy's budget actually reduces the homestead rebate by more than 12 million total compared to last year. It's the legislature's budget passed last week that would just about double homestead rebates to 298 million. Which is so important uh, to, to people uh, because, you know, it's a promise that we've made. It's something we have to keep. Uh, and uh, I think we're going, you know, that I've made that part of the, the things that we need to reestablish in the in the budget. An administration source told NJTV News the governor's willing to accept the legislature's higher homestead rebate allocation if they provide sustainable revenue to support it. Meanwhile, AARP's got other issues and they'll drive an agenda in the upcoming midterm elections. We want to keep Social Security strong for future generations. Anybody here worried? Yeah, we're worried. The group expressed concerns over cuts to Medicare and Medicaid and complained that prescription drugs cost too much because pharmaceutical companies overcharge or evade generics. As seniors, you cannot afford to pay the prices that they're asking you. So generics are just so important for our seniors. Absolutely. I will be a new Medicare recipient at the end of this year. And if they were to cut it, it's going to affect my standard and quality of living. AARP will focus on New Jersey's U.S. Senate race and on five congressional districts, the 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 7th, and 11th, giving special attention to candidates' positions on critical issues. We have identified the five districts that we're working in for a number of reasons, including that they are the most competitive, we can make the most difference, and we have large percentages of our members who live in these districts. AARP will be polling its New Jersey voters age 50 and over this summer. It's an officially nonpartisan organization, but on issues like Medicare, it is fiercely protective of its members. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.